Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy Twin Zinc, and this is Twin Zinc Talk. On this podcast here, we'll be talking about all subject matters. Nothing is off the table. We try to keep the facts. Be respectful to one another. And just give that real dialogue that some people are scared to give you or won't give you or to give you half baked information. So once again, thank you for tuning in Twin Zinc. And let's rock. What's going on, good people? Welcome to Twin Zinc Talk. I'm your host, Twin Zinc. Hope everyone's having a great day. I know it's been a minute since I recorded the show. I've been busy doing the Chop Team and also the Real Deal versus How You Feel podcast on stereo apps. So I've been very busy, but I figured I could bless y'all today with some content of my own. And as you look at top or the thumbnail when you first saw it, the topic that I'll be speaking on to you today will be dating with a purpose. I'm not going to be in front of y'all for a long period of time here. This is something I, I need to get off on my side and my point of view coming from a man's side. So a lot of, a lot of, um, I have a lot of conversation and debates and dialogue on the chat team and the real deal versus how you feel. Now on the real deal versus how you feel, I am having communications and I'm speaking with my co-host. She's not a co-host because we're on the same level. We're both hosts, but her name is Miss I Speak Life on Stereo App and her IG is uh, You're Covered. But uh, me and her have conversations all the time about men and women and responsibilities when it comes to fatherhood, motherhood, all those topics. We, we get into all those things. And we are a solution-driven conversation, and I think on every platform that I speak on, I tend to provide a resolution or things that we can do collectively as a whole to get better. I'm not talking just to talk. I'm talking to try to help either our adults who are now raising kids or even to our youth, young generation that can learn something, take the information, and move forward with. Because sometimes there's a lot of information that the human I get. There's a lot of information I didn't get as a young man, but I learned through experience. But as a goal, as my, my goal is to make sure I, have to, I give the knowledge to the people out there who don't have someone to lead them in that direction. Or they may, you may have someone who can lead you in that direction. I just want to provide more meat and potatoes. Now, I'm a father as well. So I have a soon-to-be nine-year-old daughter, scary, yes, got my shotgun. And if you if you look over here, you see something poking over there. Not a shotgun, but it's something. But anyway, and also I have a seven-year-old as well, boy. So I have both, a boy and a girl. But my daughter about to be nine in July. Whew, time flies. But back on the main topic we're speaking about today, the topic is dating with a purpose. And we're trying to change the narrative. Miss I Speak Lab, that's her, her thing. So I, I want to give kudos to their topic and their catchphrase. I'm not stealing no one's information. But um, to change the narrative, how we can stop the, the, or how we can help decline the fatherless or the motherless men and women out there raising kids on their own, this is what we need to figure it out when we start dating. And this is something new, you know, this is something I've been saying. This is something I actually lived by my whole life, but now I'm putting it on pen and paper and give it to the people. And ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen, have an open mind, take your feelings and put them over there for a little bit, for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Put your feelings over there. You two guys, put your feelings over there. Just listen to what I'm saying. If it doesn't apply to you, let it fly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. So don't take it offense or anything like that. But here, here's, what, here's what we need to do, right? Um, a lot of conversations I have with as I speak live, you know, and other ladies and in clubhouse and on multiple platforms, they're always talking about how the men need to take care of their kids, raise their kids, regardless of the situation of him and the woman not being together no more, right? Doesn't matter. And I agree. Men, yes, we we need to be accountable for our actions. Regardless of the situation between you and the mother, regardless of whatever happened there, once the child was in the picture, it is your responsibility to take care of the child. Regardless if, one, you were, uh, you were forced to be a father or, you, you know, it was an accident, doesn't matter. Once you lay down and you're not using protection, meaning that you didn't wear a condom and she didn't use any birth control, 
y'all both were accountable, but as a man, it is your responsibility to know know what happens. I understand cop in the moment. I've been there, whatever. But it's still your responsibility. So once that kid is now here, regardless between you and that woman, you need to take care of your child, regardless. And I do understand the situations out there where the, the mother makes it very hard. We're not talking about those situations. We're talking about when you choose the guy. When you choose not to be in your child's life because you're upset or whatever case may be, okay, I get it being upset, but that's still not the child's fault. Do your part to raise a child. But, ladies, you're just as accountable as a man. Actually, you're more accountable than a man. And before I get into this, I want to be crystal clear with you ladies out there. You are the prize. I'm going to say that again. You are the prize. Meaning that, that one, if you get pregnant, you got to first off survive the pregnancy. Meaning black women, African-American women, women of color, you have a three to four times rate of dying during the pregnancy. That's number one. So one, you have to survive carrying the child and delivering the child. That's number one. Number two, if you get pregnant with a man who's 25 years and younger, most men don't make over 50000 and more until they're in their late 30s. Now, there are some cases where some dudes are balling out there, and I'm referring to professionally, not saying street, I'm saying as a career, college, graduated, job, good, good income, all that good stuff. So if you get pregnant from a dude who's 25 years and younger, even if, even if you do pay him on child support, the money that you're going to receive is not going to be enough, okay? That's, it, it's, just, it's just a fact. It's, it's a fact. Number three, your time. So regardless if the dude's in the picture, not in the picture, doesn't matter. You still have to get the kid up and get him ready to go to school. You still got to drop him off. You still got to pick him up. You still got to do basketball and after school programs. And you, most of the time, you got to pay for those things. Even if you're giving child support, sometimes it still may not be enough. But on top of that, your time is taken away from there. See, a man, we can get you pregnant and we can dip. Sad. But it's true. It's the fact. I'm giving you real. And guess what? We can go over here and start a whole new family just like that. And and you sitting over here upset, mad at him because he won't take care of his child. I get that. He's wrong for that. But I'm placing, I'm letting you know that you're the prize. You, men, okay, I'll just say this. Men provide resources. Women, your body, you, you choose who you let in your body. I'm taking off all the abuse stuff all the little rape, all that stuff, those are not, I'm talking to the people who are willingly having unprotected sex and getting pregnant. Okay? That's who I'm talking to. So that's, so I was going to be clear on that about women, you ladies, you have the most risk. You have the most risk. You got to survive the pregnancy. Don't get pregnant by dudes 25 years and younger because he he, he's not making real good money. And number three, Still, even if, he, even if he's in the picture or not in the picture or he's paying, doesn't matter, your time is being taken away. Your time. Meaning that, you know, you want to live your life too, right? Because mind you, if he leaves, he's still living his life. But now you got to live your life, but now you got to work around your child or children, depending if you have more than one. So keep that all in mind. You're, you're youth, you're young, you want to hang out with your friends. Those things matter. And that's why the women have the most risk. So be clear of that. You are the prize. So this is not a shot at the women. I'm just letting you know you are the prize. You are the prize. If y'all all came together and say, listen, anytime the man, before the man can get the cookie, he needs to have a college degree. Every man that will try to get the cookie will have a college degree. And that's what I'm saying, that you're putting the standard on yourself because you, you have the value. You dictate what men do. Because, men, we, we're competitive, right? That's what we are net, by nature. We're competitive. We're going to work hard regardless because that's what we're competitive. Not all, but most of us, right? So with that being said, let's get into this whole day with a purpose, right? Because I understand that, you know, you know, um, life happens, you know. But here's one thing I want to give to the young men and young women out there when you go into this market of living your best life, sowing your oats, just you know, just living, right? Whatever you want to call it. I say this: date with a purpose. And what date with a purpose looks like is this. 
And <laughs> and I know at first a lot of people when they first meet people, right? When you first they meet, you know, when you're out in the scene, talk to somebody, she's cute, he's cute, you want to get the number, get to know each other. I understand. You're not looking at that person like, oh, okay, I'm, I might marry this person. No, most people don't do that. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people don't. It's a small percentage. I mean, no one really sits there and says that. But you should think of the risk. Forget the whole marriage because a lot of people don't get married. Think about the risk, right? The risk is what happened if I get pregnant? Will this man be here for the long-term run? Is he a good man? Is he a provider? I understand at that time, young, young, he may not have a good job. He could be working at McDonald's, Target, Walmart, whatever, right? But does he have dreams? Does he have inspirations? Does he plan to be a business owner? Like, see, these are a lot of questions you should have. When you're talking with somebody, you should know their character. You should get to know them. Get, once you get past the looks, oh, she looks good. Oh, she got fatty. Oh, he looks great. Oh, he, he got this. He got that. Okay, cool. You got the first step out the way. Cool. The looks is good because that looks going to play a role your whole life. So I'm not going to say and can't even quote that. But what I'm saying is this. You need to focus on the character of the person. You need to ask questions with this person to see where their mind's at, right? What, what, you know, what is your short-term goals? What is your long-term goals, right? Ask these simple, basic questions just to at least have an understanding. I'm not saying every man you talk to, you should look at him as being your husband. But you should look at him in the cases, what if I get pregnant by this person, what's going to happen? Ladies, I see this all the time, especially when I was growing up. If you're talking to a dude, boy, man, whatever you want to call him, and he already has kids, and during the whole process y'all dating, right, you never hear his, never hear about his kids, you don't see his kids. And I'm not saying men or women need to bring the kids up, you know, bring them to them every day. I'm not saying that. But at least have a conversation. If you don't hear about him or see him out and about with his kids or doing things with his kids, like, oh, I can't go out to that guy Go my son in the baseball game. Oh, I got to pick my son up. I got to pick my daughter up. If the man is not doing those things, you need to be cautious because if you get pregnant by him, what's going to make you different from his first baby mama and to you? Yes, he, he may say, oh, she's crazy. She this, he's that. Just be, everybody be honest, be clear with this. There's always two sides, well, three sides of the story, right? Two sides of the story, right? It's her side, his side, and somewhere in between is the truth. So, of course, you're not going to talk to his baby mama to find out what really happened, right? And vice versa. You ain't going to talk to his baby daddy to find out what really happened. But you can judge based on his character, the way he acts around you, the things that you see when you're talking to him. So if he already has kids already and you don't see him take care, be interacted with his kids, I'm just asking you, what makes you think you're different? Let's be honest. What makes you think you're different? Why are you, why are you, what makes you different from the first woman? Why do you, why didn't he marry or yeah. Why did he not married or why he's not with his first baby mama? Think about that for a second. These are conversations you need to have at least to understand what kind of person he is. Then also, like I said, short goals, long-term goals, these all things you need to look into when you get into your relationship. Simple as that. Fellas, the same thing applies to you as well. If you talk to a woman that has kids, Find out where her mindset's at. You know what I'm saying? Find out. I'm not saying you need to find out everything about the previous relationship. Just find out how come y'all didn't work out. What happened? And then we, and then we sit back and listen to what information being fed to you. Okay. If I was in his shoes or her shoes, what would I do? What makes me different from these other people, right? So that's dating people who already have kids already. Let's give you an example, right? But let's say neither one of you have kids, right? Right? We fresh out of high school, you know, 18 years old, college life, you know. Hey, I've been there. Or not college life. You working and she may be in college or vice versa, whatever. So at the end of the day, neither one of you got kids, right? So right now, there's no kid factor. So right now, you know, you date him, you date her, you know what I'm saying? It's just lovely. You need to ask these short-term, long-term goals. You need to look at this person and see what his character is like. So... For example, you know, here's a here's a, here's a, here's an easy question to see if someone might be abusive father or abusive mother, right? I know I might be going too deep in this, but think about this for a second. I'm an '80s baby, right? 
And if I'm sitting at the table with a bunch of A's, baby, and I have a conversation talking about, man, I just get my butt beat when I was little, right? I'm like, yeah, man, I just get beat too, man. My parents didn't play. If, if I did X, Y, Z, right? And we just, we, we just having a conversation about our lives, growing up, getting beat with such cords and all that stuff. I guess it was abused back then, but, hey, I turned out fine. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this. The best way to find out how someone feels about being getting butt beat and all that stuff, you can ask them. Hey, man, so when you got beat, man, how'd that make you feel? Oh, man, you know what, man? Listen, I deserve it. You know what I'm I did X, Y, Z. I know I got beat, but I deserve it, so I think it was good, right? Whatever. But you might get some answers talking about, oh, I don't like that. You know, if I, if I have kids, I'm not going to do that to my kids. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Just having that little conversation gives you the mindset on how someone's thinking or how someone's feel. So if, they, if you have to have kids with this person, what kind of daddy is going to be? What kind of mother is going to be? What kind of trauma they, they got into? Without asking about their trauma, you can ask questions to figure out what kind of man or woman that they are. So you know, once you so once you now in a relationship with this person, you don't have to have arguments or disagreements. Time about you ain't gonna be disciplining my kids, or you can stomach up my kids and don't do this, don't do that. These are th- these are a lot of things you should be courting the person, or meaning when you're dating, you should be venting them out just to get understanding. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I can say this. I can say it very confidently, right? Out of all the women I've dated in my life, I can say maybe eighty-five to ninety percent of them, right? If I got them pregnant, I would be able to be a, either marry them or be a baby baby daddy, which I don't like. So that's why it never happened. But I could be a baby daddy and take care of my kids, even if me and her are not together no more, and no drama. That was a mindset when I dated most of these these, these ladies out here. And if I did have unprotected sex because it's a choice and it's my responsibility, I knew, okay, if I did get her pregnant, okay, how would this work out? Would I be able to do X, Y, Z? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's her character like? Like, when I dated, like, I just didn't date anybody or I just didn't sleep with anybody. I was, I, I, me personally, Twin Zinc, Dwayne, I was never the guy who looked out there who, who, who was trying to uh, sleep with the girl the first night. That wasn't me. Especially back in, in the you know early two thousand in the nineties, whatever, that wasn't me. If I slept with a girl the first day, that let me know that okay, she's not somebody I want to be with potentially. Because if I get it so easy, I mean, because you know, I think I think I have okay game. I'm not saying I'm a Mr. Pimp, Mac, GQ, all that stuff. No, but I know my my game ain't that strong. So if if I can get it the first night. Doing something basic, I'm like, oh man, this dude's way s- smoother and cooler than me, and that's I put a value on that, meaning that okay, yeah, that's still sleep with her, maybe, maybe not, whatever. But did she end up being my wife? No. Did she end up being a long term relationship with me? No, because those traits matter. They may matter to me, you know, and this may not be for you. But any young man, young woman listening, I want you to take this information and think about it. Because you don't want to be the future baby mama, baby daddy in the future upset because you can't find a good man or a good woman to start a relationship with. Or you want to, are you upset because now a guy don't want to date you because you have a kid, right? And I'm not saying anything that a woman with a kid is now, like, I'm beyond, the, okay, the elephant's in the room. I'm not speaking that Kevin Samuel stuff. Kevin Samuel He's speaking for the top men, men who are in the top 10% earner in the world who make great money, who can choose and pick who they want to be with. But I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the average Joe, like me and you. You know, we, we, we call us uh, a high earner <laughs> or a beta man or whatever, Henry, with a blue herring, whatever. The guy's making under $100,000 a year. That's where we at, right? So what I'm saying is, um, ladies, I'm be honest with you. Uh, most men, not all, but most men. Okay, I'm not so be clear. I'm not saying all, but most men. Most men want to start a relationship with a lady who doesn't have kids, right? It is a fact. No man is has ever been raised to say, you know what? I'm gonna find me a woman who has kids, and I'm gonna wife her up. No, that's no. You couldn't. Nowhere that's being taught. Nowhere's being taught. Now, is there a benefits of dating a woman who has a kid? Yes, there is. And that'll be a topic that we're going to talk about on The Real Deal versus How You Feel on Stereo App. The Real Deal versus How You Feel on Stereo App. So make sure you sign in and search Twin Zinc, same name, and 
you'll find my host as well. But that'll be a topic later on. But in most cases, most men are not raised to find women to have kids. Most men want to start their own family. Now, do men do talk to women to have kids? Yes. Do men marry women to have kids? Yes. Listen, I dated a woman who had two kids. I, 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 I was engaged with a woman who, um, who had a, a baby girl, and I was there before the baby was born. So when the baby was in the belly, I was rubbing the belly. I was there through the whole time. So it means that it can happen. Not a high number, but it can happen. But at the end of the day, if men want to pick and choose who they be with, if they prefer not to have a woman as a kid, then that's their choice. Just like a, like a woman can pick and choose who she want to be with. Just like when I'm in school, I'm in 10th grade, the women in my same grade as me didn't want to talk to guys like me. They didn't want to talk to the seniors or the dude who had the cars and all those things. That was her choice. No one's knocking that. No one's talking about that. If Sierra, if Sierra can go out there and get her Russell Wilson, cool. Not a problem. That's her preference. But if a man has a preference, that's a problem. So I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just letting you know, when you're out, when you're out in these streets, you need to date with a purpose. You need to understand. And, ladies, don't be don't be afraid not to build with your man, right? I mean, I get it. You want to get to the finish line. Cool. Not a problem. If you want to get to the finish line, you know, if you want to skip the, you know, skip the work, hard work, and jump to the finish line, cool. But just be clear. If you want a guy who's making a lot of great money, don't have any kids, then you have to make sure you fit in the category that you want to be. It's just that simple. Um, you can't you you can't you can't pressure him to hey, I got a kid, so you got to take care of me and him. It don't work like that. It doesn't. And you know, people ladies will say, well, he wants a dumb young girl. And like she's not a dumb young girl. And at one point, you were all the same young dumb girl. So what what does that mean? It means nothing. But I'm not. I'm, let me stay on topic here because I can go a whole t- different, different route. I've been talking about this for like a whole week now. But focus on make sure you're dating with a purpose. When it comes down to it, you're even if you're not looking at marriage, just know that there's a high risk if you decide you're going to lay down and have unprotected sex. Just know, and no one is giving you any excuses at this point. Meaning that if you get pregnant, okay, man, do your part. Woman, do your part. You can't blame the man for, well, if he was around, you should have knew what kind of man he was before you let him get pregnant, before you let let him get you pregnant. You have to understand the ultimate goal, the ultimate prize, the the, the best thing you can give a man and a woman, ladies, the ultimate prize you can give a, a man in this world is a child. That's the ultimate goal, ultimate prize you can give a man is a child. I mean, that's that's deep right there. Mary, I mean, <laughs> carry, Mary, <laughs> Mary and carry. I'm probably saying it wrong, but you make sure before you have kids, you want to make sure you, you're married first. It's, it's just really that simple. And we're trying to change the narrative. We're trying to fix things in our black community is that we have a lot of young ladies out here that are single mothers, and we have fathers <laughs> not taking care of their kids. And yes, men need to be held, held accountable for the action. Men need to be taught to be men. But what y'all ladies say, women mature quicker than men. Okay. If you know these things as a lady, then you need to, you need to understand that you need to be mindful who you let access your body. You need to also, um, if you're dating, just know there's a high risk that is, if we are having our best life and having unprotected sex, you know, a kid, it could be something that I can get and kids are down their life. I mean, at least, at least guarantee 18 years, maybe longer if they go to college, right? That's what 23 years plus that you and this man will have to be connected to each other because of a child, regardless if I get along or not. Now I even talk about STDs and HIVs and all stuff like that, but the kid is the most important thing. And the kid thing is a, it's a huge problem when it comes to black in the black community. That's why I'm having this conversation because uh, if you ask a lot of ladies, you know, my fact, with that being said, I posed a question on my IG, right? On Instagram at twin zinc. And I asked the question, um, they went to purpose. And I asked ladies, what does that look like? Now I didn't give you a list of things that you should look for and look into a woman as far as, you know, get to know them 
and seeing their character, see what kind of woman he is, what kind of man he is, the history, their goals, short-term goals, long-term goals, all those things, right? So um, I, I posed a question, and I have a, um, I posed the questions to men and ladies. Now, men didn't reply, which is understandable, but the ladies did apply. And I'm going to read out some of these comments that the ladies read or responded to as far as dating with a purpose. And there was no criteria. You know, it, you could have wrote, it could have been as long as you want. It could have been as short as you want, whatever. But most of these responses I got were either one sentence or one long sentence. But I'm going to read to you what they say. And if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, you can see it on the screen right now. But anyway, so the first one was when the man professes his intentions. So the lady said, they went a purpose from so from so ladies, what does it look like? So from, from a lady's point of view, she said, uh, when a man professes his intentions. So what happened if you're speaking to a man and he doesn't profess his intentions? How is he gonna profess these intentions unless you ask him what his his intentions are? I'm going to be honest with you, ladies. Most men are not really looking to get married and probably at least until the, like the end of their 20s, 27, 28, 29, and 30s. Let's, I'm going to be honest with you. Most men are not looking to get married at 19 years old or 20. And I'm referring to men with no kids. Most time, if you do see a lot of marriages young, it's either they, either they won, they graduated college at the same time, or they had kids out of high school. And sometimes, you know, growing up in black community, you know, there's no kids out of wedlock. So I'm not going to lie. I was almost forced into a marriage. <laughs> so I understand that concept. But in most cases, most men are not looking to be married at at those young ages. I mean, shoot, 25 and down, no man's really looking out there. Most men is not looking to get married at so young. So the problem, I, um, so I get that part. I understand you want to know his intentions, but... Is that the only thing you're looking for when you, when you want to know, you know, when you're dating with a purpose, you just want to know his attentions? Is that it? A man can tell you anything. Is that going to really be the end result? So if, if, as long as he professes attention, is that's going to show you that, oh, he's a good man, he's a provider, he's a protector, he's not going to cheat on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that it? That's, that's, all, that's all you got for what it looks like for a woman? So that was the first comment that somebody posted. Um, the second comment somebody put in, they said, for me, it looks like a. For me, it looks like finding the right qualities in a partner, so we so we can then build a solid foundation. Now, I like this one because, um, as far as finding that foundation, you got to have deep conversations or fact finding, con- you know, questions to find out. You know, well, I'll just say this: for this person to respond to this, their, for they answer. I like it because it does take a lot of thought, right? Because this is not just a, a one answer. This is a lot of thinking behind it. And also let me know this person here is uh, has really thought about their response and thought about their future. They thought about what kind of man they really want. And now they're just, like I said, look at the qualities in a partner to see if they can build together. So this person is looking for someone to build with and be with long term. So that's really a good response, and I like this one, all of them that I received. Because this one was just like, yeah, it just wasn't a one answer, wasn't one sentence, wasn't just like a, okay, his attention to this, but good qualities. Uh, the third comment was intentionally happiness. Okay, what does intentionally, intentional happiness mean as far as dating with a purpose? You know? So you're meeting a guy, and you just want to know he's going to make sure he, you're happy intentionally. Is that it? Is that all you want? Like, that's not really putting a lot of thought behind as far as you possibly being with somebody, you know, that may have your kid. I mean, the end goal to all this is the black community. We need to be married and stay married. That's the end goal of this. Dating is cool, but I understand sometimes a lot of people don't get married. So with that being said, a lot of people are ending up pregnant. Okay, it happens. But you can't sit here and blame saying a guy ain't this, a guy ain't that. If the guy ain't this and guy ain't that, that means you're the same because you gave this man a baby. If the man ain't ish, that means you ain't ish because you gave a man ain't ish the ultimate goal, which is a child. So if he ain't ish, that means you ain't ish either. So why another man should take on those responsibilities of you and your child? You got to think about that. Think about it. 
So be careful how you badmouth your baby father, how you badmouth your baby mother, because you're actually in the same category. If you ain't ish, he ain't ish. She ain't ish, she ain't ish. It's just a fact. And you can say, all, you can point fingers all day, but you lay down with this person and y'all created the ultimate thing, which is a child. It's a fact. Be mad you want. It's a fact. And I'm not referring to the people who've been married. If you've been married and you got divorced, that's a whole different conversation because you did what you're supposed to do. You met the guy, you got married, you took that risk. You, you know, because it didn't want to tell you if you've been married or you're going to get married or whatever, marriage is, it's a contract, number one, <laughs> but you just can't walk away from marriage as easily. It takes a lot of work, right? All right. Number four, the lady said, have options. Dating with a purpose and you want to have options. I don't know what that means as far as dating, dating with a purpose. That, that's not, yeah. So, fellas, if you're listening, these are just some, these are all response from ladies that sent me the request, I mean, sent me a response on IG. So, this is not something I just pulled out the air. These are actual responses. Um, I'm not showing the name because I'm not having one get attacked, nothing like that. But, um, but when you say have options, I don't know what that means as far as in a relationship. Because um, once again, I'm talking about dating with a purpose. Dating with a purpose. Um, I don't know what that means as far as has options. I just don't. Um, but once again, if I'm dating somebody, I didn't know the character, their heart, what kind of person they are. Is it someone that I can, not saying that I, I'm not saying I'm intensely trying to get a woman pregnant. But understand, if we are her taking this risk, and of course, with a condom, it is 99% chance, that 1% one, that 1 chance that she still might get pregnant, right? It's, it's still out there, so it's still a risk. And there's been situations where the condom slid off or it broke. I've been there, so I understand. But also, um, if the woman's also doing her part, too, on birth control, that's another 99%. So at a 198% chance of getting pregnant, it's a 2% chance you make it pregnant if both y'all are being accountable for your bodies and your actions. And I hear this conversation all the time saying, say, oh, but you don't know what it does to the woman's body. And I get that. I understand 2,000% that these birth controls can de- um, hinder the, the, the lady's body, thyroids, all this other stuff. Cool. All right, cool. So if you know um, if you know that taking these birth controls can also hurt you, hurt you and then you also know that if you, if, you, if you have a child, it could also not hurt you, but it could add more stress to your life, especially if you become a single mother. Then what I say is marry, then you carry. Don't have sex. Don't have sex until you get married. That's the that's the number one thing we could do to avoid the single mothers and single fathers out there. Just don't have sex till you're married. Just, it's just that simple. If you do that part, then no one will be here. So you can't sit here and blame everybody else for X, Y, Z. If you heard this sowing your oats and let do sow oats in you, I mean, it's, this is your body. And once again, you choose to be a single mother. It's a fact. You can argue it all day. So once again, um, I think I just want to, like I said, I, I don't, I didn't plan to be in this long here with y'all. I just want to be quick and short to the point about dating with a purpose. Um, if you do have any questions, you know, you can reach to me on twin zinc on IG, uh, tw- info at twin zinc at email. Oh, sorry. Info at twin zinc.net. That's my email. Um, but Twin Zinc is the name, the logo. You, you search it anywhere, and it'll pop up, and that's me. Um, I'm on definitely on YouTube, so you can also comment there on YouTube as well. That's Twin Zinc. But, um, yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, once again, you need to be responsible for your body. Um, you also need to make sure you're properly venting these guys out, and, men, you properly, you know, venting these women out as well. If you want to, if you want to change the narrative, you want to be different from everyone else, just have a purpose. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just just, just think of things that you want. You know, you don't know what it's like to be married or be in a long-term relationship. But but things that you think about, things that you do know, those are questions you should ask while you're dating. Or you're going out and having dinner and doing these things. You need to have these intentional questions. And if you want to be married, ladies, if you if you want to be married, then you need to play no games. No games at all. Because you are the prize. This is Twin Zinc Talk. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, short but goody, you know, about 30-something minutes or so. Um, please check me out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
we're on Stereo app. I'm on with Miss I Speak Life, and the show is called The Real Deal Versus How You Feel. And on Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, every Sunday, we do a live recording of The Chop Team. That we do live recording show, live recording show on YouTube, so you can call in, you can even text, and you know you can you can be interactive and being part of the call, right? Even this show, and then we drop the episode every Monday at seven a.m. Sometimes I might do a Wednesday if it's like a part one or part two, right? But that's where I'm at. That's what we're doing. Appreciate you for tuning in. This is Twins Ain't Talk, date with a purpose, and I'm out. <laughs>